Hello, I'm Dom Pepper with Team Portal Boys, and this is the Left 4 Dead remake that we made. It's called Stay for Alive. Um, so right here, you're on our tutorial level. Uh, Left 4 Dead did not have a tutorial level, so this is kind of like our sandbox that we created to simulate that. Um, it differs from what we intended um, a little bit, obviously, because we don't have as much time or the experience or the development team to kind of mirror exactly how we wanted it. Uh, we did our best go around with it however we could uh gameplay main systems and mechanics so you got um your core mechanics over here so you got your movement you got your space bar you got your fire reload melee um your throwables your interact and your flashlight um you got your pickups so there's med kits here there's ammo over there there's exploding barrels just like in the game uh these are companions even though we did not have enough time to actually incorporate them i'm sorry i'm talking fast i'm trying to explain everything um, we got some ladders and stuff, kind of how normal game does. You got your doors, you know, they're, you can break these bad boys and break those. Look at that. Just like the normal game. You got your car, sets off an alarm. Bonds in your zombies. Um, how's it going? It compares relatively close to how I wanted it. Kind of have a campaign style how they have it set up so you got your you know your four levels each different overall like levels i guess you can say where you can pick it right into each category um any other cool features we've got a bunch of dark levels we've got audio audio was our big thing audio and ui that was a big thing that we touched very 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 well on um yeah thanks for your time Sorry for talking so fast. Hello, my name is Ryan Lee. Throughout this project, there were a few ideas that stood out above the others. One from my side was incorporating different level sections or level blocks into a single level, rather than just one large centerpiece. An example, my apartment level has a safe house, ho safe house hospital that is needed to be reached in order to continue on. My barn level has an underground area that can also bring you to the end point of a level as well. Some things that didn't work out so much were more based around implementing limitations to what should be limited resources. Although, what I feel like I've taken the most out of this capstone has been my ability for level design and what works well and what doesn't. And when creating a larger scale level, there have to be more er more than one areas of interest, otherwise the level, level will feel empty and too linear. I've done my best to try to implement this into my design and have become far more comfortable with working in level design because of it. Hello, my name is Matt Sweet. Uh, I'm a member of Team Portal Boys. So there were several ideas that worked well during the development of Stay 4 Alive. An example of this would be the movable subway car on the subway level here. Uh, it was one of my ideas that I really wanted to incorporate into the game to make a blockade rather than a having a straight shot the player would have to come over and trigger the movable subway car in order to make it to the end of the level uh, one idea for me that really didn't work out too well was the electrified train tracks which I had over here um, essentially I wanted the player to have to jump over this barricade of electrified train tracks and not be killed uh, but it proved to be more time-consuming and difficult, so I just went a different route entirely and created a movable piece of debris that the player is able to move out of the way to proceed forward. Uh, one of the skills that I took away from this project was learning and honing my UI skills. Uh, initially, at the beginning of the project, I had very little experience in the UI's uh, system here in Unreal. After this project, though, I feel way more confident in building menus and understanding the way that they work. Thank you.